a medium size acorn squash and I've cut it into half. I've also cut the uh, bottom so it stays flat while uh, you serve. This becomes your serving bowl uh, as well as uh, you know your appetizer. Now I'm going to be clearing out all the seeds and the fibrous part of the squash itself. And then I'm going to drizzle it with uh, a little olive oil and uh, salt and pepper. And I'm going to bake it for about 30 minutes. Here you go. I've cleaned it, cleaned both off and I've lined a sheet pan with some foil. I've drizzled some oil on top. Salt and pepper. You don't need too much because your uh, fondue will have uh, a little bit of salt from the cheese. The acorn squash has been baked in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. It took a little less than before, but you can see it's fork tender and uh, it goes back with the uh, cheese sauce. Uh, for a few more minutes till the cheese is all melted. And uh, these are the ingredients right now. Uh, this is a half of a French baguette that I've sliced thinly. I'm going to be uh, drizzling it with oil and toasting it to nice crisp dish. And then I have a whole uh, leek stock that I've that I've quartered and that thinly sliced. Um, half a cup of milk, you can use cream if you'd like. Um, shredded Gruyere cheese or any cheese that you have. I have uh, some mascarpone and nutmeg, about a uh, little less than quarter cup of mascarpone and a few dashes of nutmeg, salt and pepper. As I finally chopped up the leek, make sure you clean it because between the layers you will find a little dirt and you do not want that in your food. So I've thoroughly cleaned it in a colander. I've heated up a little bit of oil and I'm going to put all the leek in and saute it till it's tender. Drizzling a little bit of salt. You don't need too much because the cheese has uh, the salt as well as a little bit in the mascarpone and then a few grams of black pepper and then a few dashes of the nutmeg you can avoid it if you don't like it you can add any fall spice if you don't like uh, nutmeg and you don't want to overcook this it's just to sweat it out you don't want it to brown And then now I'm going to be adding the mascarpone. I would say about two tablespoons of it is good. I usually don't measure my ingredients. You can see it's melting really quickly. Now I add the half a cup of milk or cream. Um, it's, if you like a rich taste, you can add cream, but I like uh, the taste of, you know, milk. This is 2% milk. It's going to thicken very quickly. Make sure the mascarpone is all melted. give it a good taste. I think a little more grind of pepper. And then I'm going to be adding this added to here. You don't need too much. Uh, probably about two tablespoons or so. This is the cheese sauce. It's 
going to thicken a little bit more and then you can add it into the acorn squash that is mostly baked. You can see it's thickened quite well. If you're adding cream, it's probably a little thicker. You don't need to uh, heat it up as much. And now I'm going to put it on to the two halves. You can see I've put it into the uh, squash and now I'm going to be baking it. You just bake it till it's brown on top and it's ready to be served along with your uh, crackers or uh, I'm using French baguettes, thinly sliced toasted baguettes. So after 10 minutes, you can see that the uh, cheese is bubbling and slightly brown and the sweetness from the corn squash with the saltiness of the mascarpone and the pepper and nutmeg is really um, scrumptious with the toast or toasted bread or crackers or even vegetables if you want to avoid any of the carbs.